on Florida just kind of take care of that, given what they've done against Michigan State and Florida State, just take care of the ball and you have a chance? Right, well, I don't know the book on them, but, uh, but uh, I think if you can take care of the ball against a team that presses, that's a big part of the battle because you know, then you limit their opportunities in transition. I don't know how many fast break points they had, only two. And when you can do that and make them play a half court game, it's just they're good at it, but they're better at playing a, a, a free game and a game where they're turning it over. How much does that tell about your team when the Gators have the three point play and then on defense they block two shots in a row, but your team doesn't fall down and you know maintains well, the momentum? Right. I think that probably speaks to our experience. You know, we we become much more resilient. We we've. We've sat in a lot of locker rooms or a lot of times at practice where we have been frustrated and had to learn how to grow from that and not worry about that. And that you can only get that with experience because when you're a freshman and you come in, things are very, very difficult and you start to panic and press. Uh, and when you get a little bit older, you have a, a junior guard calming you down, a senior guard calming everybody down, including the coach. And, and uh, we can, you can just point out that experience and resiliency are, are important factors. First time in the season, I'm thinking you guys what do you explain? Well, we were picked third, actually. We were third? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, now we think we have a good team. We're confident. I really, we've talked as a team. We don't feel, I don't want to say this out of context. On the season, we don't feel like we play as well as we can. Certainly today is a great win. Um, and it's, it would take a great effort to beat Florida. But I think we can get better. I think we have more scoring options than we're currently showing. And I think those guys will, will, will you know, figure it out and, and get better and better as we go. What's going through your mind when it's always hit the 25 footer? <laughs> well, when Dave was a freshman, I would have said, no, no, no. And then he made it. Now that he's a senior, I say, go ahead, Dave, take a look. Uh, Kevin, I'll tell you, he, he makes long, the, the farther out he is, the better his percentage is. I don't know if we can measure that. But, you know, this is the kind of thing he's done very well throughout his career. Uh, it's more about the confidence that he has and that everybody has in him uh, to, shoot that, to shoot that shot. And, you know, thankfully made it, but I don't think there was anybody surprised on our team that he made the shot, to be honest. Kevin, how much do you got to get back on? I think we get a foot. I think that's what uh, people are texting me. We're getting a foot uh, snoring. Do yeah. you like being stopped part right now instead? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know on a national level, people hear about you guys in the first or second round, then you come down to a place like North Pole Classic. How much more do you think this is going to enhance your ability to not only uh, make a name for yourself in the state of Florida, but uh, build your national resume as teams and people become more aware when you have seen mature victories like this. Right. Well, this is, you know, we, we, that's a great point. And, you know, we, when, we, when we put together our schedule, we wanted to play as many high profile teams as we could. We were in a tournament where we, where we beat Missouri and Mississippi State and to have a, a win over Florida. Those are three excellent teams, uh, teams that, you know, need no introduction. You know, you know who they are, what league they're in. Uh, and this is this is something that really enhances our ability to you know to spread our name and to make sure our guys uh, you know get the recognition they deserve, and then also for recruiting and trying to continue to build continue to build the tradition. Yeah, Billy Donovan mentioned that he, he kind of he could tell you guys were fired up coming out for the second half. What changed in the locker room for you guys when you guys came back out? Uh, we've been in a position before. We're up eight, and we. That leads uh, go away, and we've been in a position before we we're down, like we were tonight. And uh, I just think it's just hard work. Like I said, we worked so hard in practice, and we just really wanted to get this game. We felt we let one slip, South Carolina, and uh, we just really wanted to get this game. Hard work, and then it paid off tonight. What would have been like this for you guys at large, even going to your conference, you know, especially Yeah, I think it puts us in a position to be to be in the discussion, and, and it's you know following the RPI is hard early in the season. Uh, but at the end of the year, if you can be, you know, our league sends two, three, four teams in the NCAA tournament, and so that means one, two, or three at-large teams. And when you can have, when you can do well in your conference, and then also look at, you know, these signature wins that you have on the side, that really impresses people, and it speaks volumes about your team. Florida, they're going to end up being a top, top 10, 15 team in the country. And when you say you, you beat them. Uh, that just says how good you are. I think people recognize it much more so than if you beat a team w without the name recognition of Florida. Well, I, I know in the first game that we saw here, Miami against Florida Atlantic, uh, Florida Atlantic played like they didn't feel like they belonged on the same floor as uh, uh, Miami. You guys, on the other hand, didn't seem to face you one bit. What can be learned from watching two games that are so contrasting, but with similar uh, 
applies. Yeah. No. Well, you're right. I think you know. I mean, we we don't we don't, would not be overwhelmed by by Florida. We we would be. Um, you know, we we are we feel that we can play with anybody. We really do, and, and I don't think we're very loud about that. We don't beat our chest about that, but I think deep down we feel like we can play with anybody, and we work very hard. And the reason that we work hard is because we have a great schedule, and and, and you know we can come in and beat teams like this. Can we talk about the three, right in. the three in the last couple of minutes? Well, you know, I was saying earlier that every time out, you know, my coaches and my teammates were all saying, "Keep being aggressive. You're gonna hit the next one. You're gonna hit the next one." And when your teammates are telling you that you keep getting that kind of support, um, you know, from your crew there, you, you have all the confidence in the world taking the next shot. So when Mother sent me that three, I mean, sent me that screen, I mean, I had no doubt in my mind that it was going up. So when you take a shot with confidence like that, I mean, you gotta, you gotta make one. And I did. <laughs> you counted big, right? What was, what was really said at, at halftime for you guys? Because the Gators, even their field goal percentage, which pretty much plummeted in the half and your defense really stepped up. Was there certain things that addressed that you guys changed? Well, um, I, I think really it was more of an awareness that we were we can be competitive with. I don't think we were intimidated, but you're more aware once you play the game and you're not, you know, we're not overwhelmed by their athleticism. I should say we feel just as athletic, just as good as them. And so when you when you can stop at halftime and recognize that, I just think that you, know, you breathe a little bit more confidence. Right? Up eight. You know, or down eight, down four, whatever it is, the game was was well within our was well within our grasp. If Mike Jarvis were to ask you for a copy of this tape, would you have the ability to send it to him? It's a teaching tool for us. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, <you. and> I, <laughs> he's won a lot more games than uh, than I've been about. And plus, the whole idea is yeah. there. Yes. <laughs> Any other questions? All right. Hey,